let's discuss about the fabrication of Adams clasp. Again, Adams clasp is used for retention. It's made with a thinner gauge wire as compared to a C or a U clasp. So, Adams clasp it's made with a 22 gauge wire. So, you need around 8 to 10 centimeter length of a 22 gauge wire. For doing on plane Adams clasp, you need a Adams plier, a universal plier, a wire cutter a permanent marker or a glass pencil marker and a glass slab. So using your Adams plier, straighten your wire okay so once the wire is nearly straightened you need to keep it on your outline and with a permanent marker You need to mark two points so Adams class basically has two sections or two parts a bridge which is in the middle of the wire bending and two arrowheads one on either side Adams class engages the mesio buckle and the distro buckle undercut So I mark two points, so I'll give two 90 degree bends, one on the right side and one on the left side. Add those points where I have marked. So this is the first 90 degree bend. Okay, this is the second bend that we have given. Okay, so we have given two ninety degree bends. So we'll keep our wire bending on the outline and then mark two more points to determine the length of the arrowheads. At these points, you will give two more 90 degree bends on the outer side. So once this is done, we will hold the wire bending at the edge. of the plier so we'll hold it like this then we first with our thumb we'll give a downward bend keep the pressure constant over the wire with your thumb and then just lift the wire upwards okay so we have a narrow u or arrowhead on this side So with the beaks of your Adams plier, you need to just compress your arrowheads. So 
so after the first arrowhead is prepared you will check it on the outline okay so the left side of the arrowhead it's perfectly matching the outline so we'll go on and continue with the right side so again with so again we'll hold the wire at the edge of the plier grip it properly with your thumb apply a downward pressure keep the pressure on the wire with your thumb constant and then just lift the wire upwards So once this is done, we need to just decrease the width of the arrowhead. So both our arrowheads are almost ready. So we'll check the arrowhead on the outline that has been provided. Need to straighten both these sections. So both the ends of the Adams class bar now straightened. So now the outline is exactly matching the wire bending that we have done now we go ahead with making the arrowheads so first we will mark two points at the end of the wire bending then we will mark two more points 4 mm beyond these ends So these are the points where we need to cut our wires. So the first points are the points at the end of the wire bending. We need to mark points beyond the wire bending and then cut these sections. So now we need to make tag arms at the end of these wires. So for that we'll use our universal plier. So with your universal plier, you'll round end. We'll make a uniform U. Then with against the square beak of the plier, we'll give it a small indent. and then just compress the two. We will repeat the same procedure on the other side. So uniform U indent against the square beak and compression of the loop. As you can see, the wire bending is exactly matching the outline. So the second thing that we need to see for all, all our on-plane submissions is whether it's touching your glass lab uniformly. So if you can see this end of the wire, it's not touching the glass lab. So we need to adjust the plane of the wire.
Now, if you can see all the points on the wire are touching the glass slab uniformly. Okay, so this was about the fabrication of Adam's clasp.